All praises to the most high God is the great. Oh, that boy Wesley. Million dollar version. Let's go. I'm back, baby. Back in H-Town here. Uh, you know, man, I'm so grateful. I had a great event in Vegas. Las Vegas Unleashed the Magic Within was a transformation event for so many people here. And, you know, I'm excited. And I'm so excited because I'm back in my Lambo here. All praises to the most high God is the greatest. And I'm uh, I'm so grateful. But I want to talk about something. I'm on the way to the gym. How you guys doing? How are you? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hey, 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 you. Yeah, yeah big head. Yeah, you with the pretty eyes. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Um, I appreciate you. I thank you so much. But I want to talk about something here. And I want to talk about mindset again. You know, because I get messages every day. I'm telling you. You know, we did that event. And we had so many people confess that they were reborn. Okay. You know, so many people said, man, Wesley, I didn't understand that a lot of things in my childhood was debilitating me and stopping me from reaching my full potential. But check this out. Um, you know, it's always people out there. Don't think everybody's struggling for once. Okay. I know everybody that watched me is not struggling. Like you, you probably making $10,000 a month, $20,000, $30,000, $300,000 dollars per month. And sometimes I get messages and people say, well, Wesley, um, I don't need mindset any longer. <laughs> Wesley, I don't need all that mindset stuff. Wesley, I, I'm good. I'm good with my mind. You know, and not even like, not just rich people and people that are not struggling. I got people that are struggling saying, well, no, no, Wesley, I got the mindset stuff figured out. Okay. Tell me. <laughs> Give me some technical skills, right? <laughs> and it's so funny. And I want to talk about that briefly real quickly here. And you can choose to listen to me or you can choose not to listen to me, okay? But check this out. Like right now, I work out, right? You see this muscle? It's not that big because I've been, I took a break, okay? Um, I work out. And during that process of working out, because I want to have a nice, healthy, sexy ass body. That's just the truth, okay? So I'm working out in the gym, right? I'm busting my butt, maybe you do the same. Then eventually I have a body that I'm happy with. You know when you go to the mirror and you take off all your clothes and you look at yourself, you say, oh wow, man, you sexy. I like that skin, I like, whoa, whoa, your body is nice, those abs, those six pack, those, right? Um, but I want you to listen to me close here. If I, Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin, would stop going to the gym, stop working out, stop doing push-ups, stop doing cardio, do you think I can keep the, the body that I have here today? <laughs> right? Say if I worked my ass off for five years, right, to get the body of my dreams or the body of your dreams, right? And you say, you know, I'm here. I got the body of my dreams. I'm happy. I can get the woman I want. Maybe you can get the men you want. People are complimenting you. People like you, right? And then you say, you know what? I'm done, so I'm going to stop. Now tell me what happens if you stop the process that got you to where you are today. I'm asking you. I'm, 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 talk I'm talking to you right now. I know you're on IG right now looking at me, right? Some of you on YouTube right now. What happens if you stop doing the thing or the activity or the behavior that got you to the person that you are today? The beautiful body, right? You start to plateau and you start to go on a downward spiral, okay? See, a lot of successful people, maybe you're successful, maybe you're doing well in business, right? And you might think you don't need the mindset anymore because you're there, but see, this is where you're going to fail. Because the same thing that got you there, it's the same thing that you have to keep doing to keep you there and to go higher. See, even now, okay, I make a lot of money. I'm doing very well. I make money on autopilot. We do great, okay? It doesn't mean that I am like there. I would never say, oh, I have enough mindset. That's like saying I've learned everything I need to learn about my mind, my behavior, my action. Because see, a lot of you only focus on the money, a lot of successful people. 
That's all you do is focus on the money. But what about your family life? What about your relationships? What about your self-esteem? What about other things that are outside of the money, okay? How about your emotional management? How about your emotional intelligence? This, see, these are things that you don't think about. I know rich people right now that are successful, more successful than me, but they have moments of depression. They have moments of anxiety. Rich people, how are you rich and you're stressed out about your life? You're wealthy. You make more than enough money, right? $20,000, $30,000, $60,000 per month, but you stress and you get disappointed and you get depressed at times and sometimes you have bad days and you think that you don't need any more mindset information. You think that you have your brain all figured out. Let me share something with you and I'm gonna let you go. The day that you believe that you have it all figured out, that you don't need any more mindset type of techniques or any type of information as it relates to your behavior, your actions, and the reason why you do what you do or the purpose for your life, it's the day that you plateau. Me, I would never say I have it all figured out, even though I feel like I do. Because I understand out in the world, there's always something out there that I need to know. I know it's always something out there that I don't even know what I don't know personally. It's something right now that I don't know, that I don't know, that I need to know to do different things in my life. But let me give this to you, and I'm going to really let you go. And I want you to listen to my words closely because I love you. And I want to speak this way because I love you, okay? And this is for the people that are struggling, trying to work on their business, trying to be more financially free. These are, the, these are even for the people that's not trying to be rich, but they just want to be comfortable in life. Or even for the people that want more peace. Or even for the people that are making good money right now. But you don't know exactly what you want to do. You don't know how to level up. You got to get clear. Clarity is power. You have to figure out a purpose for your life. See, the only reason why I believe this, understand this. And this is my philosophy. I believe that my wealth has every year gradually and exponentially have increased it's because of one thing I had a purpose that was beyond the money that I'm making right now I had a purpose for my life before I made a dime I had a purpose listen to me rich people yeah I'm talking to the rich people that already have money in their bank yeah I had a purpose for my life the question is what is your purpose why are you here? You're not just here to make millions and billions of dollars. You're not here just to buy fancy cars and buy fancy houses. This is great. But what is the purpose for your life? How are you going to contribute to another person's life and make their life better? Have you thought about that? If you haven't, that's mindset stuff. See, purpose, that's mindset stuff. Yeah. That's that mindset stuff that you think that you don't need. Clarity. Most of you, even millionaires... They have no clarity on how they're going to live their life for the next 50 or 20 years. You don't even know. I understand this. I have absolute, listen, I have absolute clarity about my life for the next 100 years. I have already designed my life, Wesley, billion dollar virgin, for the next 100 years while I remain on this planet. I already know what I want to do. I know how I want to do it. I know the experiences I want to have right now. I know it clearly. Does that mean I can't enhance that? Does that mean I can't augment to that? Does that mean I can't delete things? Absolutely. But today I'm clear. I'm clear with the next 50 years of my life. But are you? See, some of you say, oh, I want to level up. I want to make $5,000 a day because I make $1,000. Okay, once you make that, now what? Well, I want to make $100,000 per month net income coming into my bank account okay once you do that now what well i want to make 300 000. well now what now what this happens to so many people in the world some of the most famous people i have people that i know that are very famous that i coach personally that i can't talk about on video and they have all this money and they say wesley i don't even know what to do i have bought everything I have been with all the girls. I have bought all the cars. I have traveled to all the places. I've had experiences that most people dream about. 
but what now? I'm lost. And most of them, I, t- I know them personally, they, they, they take cocaine, they smoke weed, they, they are heavy alcoholics. Because why? They start to self-sabotage because they have not raised their standard. They don't even know how to do it because they thought money was the end goal. When I'm telling you, look at me, look at me. I know you, I know, you, I know you feel this, right? Money is not the end goal. Even all you successful people, money is not the end goal. It's nothing wrong with leveling up. It's nothing wrong with them making more money. But you got to think beyond the money that you're making. Because the key in life is this is fulfillment. See, a man, see, check this out. My dad right now is a pastor of a church. He pastors five people in the church for the last 15 years. And guess what? The church is probably not growing the way that he wants. He don't have all the finances that he wants. But he's fulfilled. Listen. He has no money. He is not a rich man. Okay? He's almost 70 years old. He never was a successful man financially. But he's fulfilled. Why? Because he makes a contribution to the world. He's helping people every single day of his life. What I'm telling you, listen to me here. Then at least the magic within the seminar that I'm having here in Houston, Texas. <laughs> we're not going to talk about technical skills. We're not going to talk about how-to strategies. I'm not going to tell you how to build an internet company. I'm not going to tell you how to create a website, how to do Facebook ads, how to market properly, how to build more better salesmen. No. What I'm going to teach you is how to believe in yourself more. More. Listen, more. I'm not saying that you don't believe in yourself now, but I'm going to teach you how to believe in yourself more. I'm going to show you how to use the tools that you're not aware of so you can direct and control your destiny. Whether if the money is $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month, $5,000 a month, you understand you. Because once you understand you, technical skills, how-to strategies, the skill levels that you need, They come without effort. Okay? They come without effort. But the thing that makes a man or a woman great is because that man or woman believes in themselves more than other people. I know people that are not just so talented and so skillful. Even myself, I'm I'm not the most talented internet marketer and the most skillful internet marketer. But I bet you I'm living a better life than most internet marketers out there. They make more money than me. Why? I, th- I bet you I have a better, closer relationship to my children than most other successful people. They don't have close connections with their children. I bet you I have more people around the world that love me, that admire me, than other successful people that have no one that admires them because they thought it was just about the money. <clears throat> Let me share something with you, and I'm going to let you go for real this time. It's all about the mindset. It's all about your mind. Mindset. I'm not just talking about mindset. I'm talking about thoughts, feelings, actions, behaviors, habits, all those things. Everything that you believe, all your values, all your standards, or even the standards that you don't have, is creating the life and your reality that you have here today. What I do in at least the magic within, I release and I ignite the fire that's within you. I'm good at that. I can take a person from the ghetto. I can take a person that... A uh, 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 mom maybe abused them, the daddy abused them. I could take a person that's been depressed, that's been hurt, that's been sad. The people that feel that they have so much pain in their life that they can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I have people that say, I don't know what to do. And I'm good at bringing the best out of people because all you need is this. All you need is somebody to believe in you. All you need to tell somebody that you're powerful. All you need to tell somebody that you're a king, that you're a queen. All I need to do is tell you that you're incredible. Because if you think that way, you'll start to do those things that are incredible. You don't need another skill, another program, another how-to program, another internet program, a Facebook, a network marketing program. You need to believe what you're what you're capable of. I'm going to share a story with you. I'm going to let you guys go. Seriously. I've never shared this story. I've never did a seminar in my life. 
myself. Like I've been to other places and I've spoken, but I've never put together a seminar in my life. I don't have the skills for a seminar. I didn't know how to, uh, the, the technicalities of what you need to do a seminar. I knew nothing about this. I've seen seminars, I've experienced them, but I didn't study them. I didn't read books about how to do a seminar. I didn't watch videos how to do a seminar. I did not educate myself how to do a seminar, but I knew that I could do a seminar. I knew I can do it. I just knew it, I'd never done it before. i never done it before. But I knew the seminar was gonna be perfect and I would visualize in my mind thousands of times that seminar being perfect. I visualize people having breakthroughs in our life. I visualize people going from $1,000 a month to $10,000 a month. I visualize people crying because they were dealing with childhood issues that were putting barriers in front of them the reason why they weren't reaching their highest potential. I would visualize people laughing and crying and shouting because they felt that everything is perfect in their life. I visualize people having breakthroughs financially. I visualize people having breakthroughs emotionally. But I've never did a seminar before. And we went to Las Vegas and I probably had the best seminar on the fucking planet. Watch the videos. Watch my last video. It was the best thing I've ever done in my life and it was perfect it felt perfect I spoke for 14 hours 14 hours and the people that were in their room they were transformed talk to them they're coming in below go to my Facebook page you will see the testimonies you will hear the words from their mouths and I've never did one before a lot of you you're so focused on the how-to the technical skills and the strategies and techniques but what I'm telling you is this, you don't have to believe me at all. Focus more on the mindset, the self-development. Focus more on you. Get clear about you as a person. That takes time. When you say that you got it all, that means your teachability index is low. When a man or a woman say, oh, I know that shit already. I already know that. I don't need enough. I don't need more of that. I don't need more of that. Do you understand? That's the one thing that got you where you are today. Because, see, the only reason why a rich person is rich and a successful person is successful is because they perceive their reality and their world differently than other people. See, successful people see their world as a blessing. Poor people see their world as a problem. That's the mindset. Successful people, when they lose money, they're excited about them. Poor people, when they lose money, they're depressed about it. That's mindset. That's what it is. Right? See, successful people, when they're working in the business and they're having problems in the business, maybe it's not working out, maybe they're not getting the money that they want, the customers that they want, they see it as a lesson. Poor people, they see it as an issue, as a problem. They start to blame, why is this not working for me? I don't understand, I am buying these programs, I'm doing what they say and it's still not, that's poor people, that's mindset by the way. It's all mindset. The person that's making $10,000 a month or $10,000 a year, it's not because that person is smarter. It's mindset. It has nothing to do with like smarts. Some people just believe more than other people. That's just all what it is. <laughs> it's not because I'm smarter. Like you think because I'm making hundreds and two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars per month and because I'm smart? Are you insane? It has nothing to do with smartness. I just believe bigger. Like I believe I'm gonna be getting three million dollars per month. I know it. That's it. That's all I need to do is believe it and create those experiences of the experience I want once the money come in, which the money is coming in right now. That's it. I'm not going to Facebook class. I'm not going to internet classes and shit. I don't want to go to this bullshit. I'm going to click funnels. I like all this stuff. It's cool. But I don't need to do that because that's not my passion. <laughs> my passion is not to build internet companies. My passion is not to build Facebook campaigns and be good at Google ads and be a great internet marketer. That's my passion. That's not why God put me on the earth. God put me here to make a contribution to you. God put me here because he want me to help you believe in yourself like I believe in me. That's what God wants me to do. I know he does. Right? God wants me to 
share my story with you so you can transition, not just make a lot of money, but be happy 99% of your day. You hear me? Be happy and excited and grateful about your life 99% of the day. Right? To learn to be impervious of pain. To be impervious of when people try to tell you that you're bullshitting, that you suck, that you're a scam. Right? Be impervious to that. Have a shield in front of you that those things don't affect your self-image about yourself, your character. I love you so much. I've went a long time. Remember, you can click the link in the description right now below to get more information about mindset. Yes, yeah, about your mindset. If you don't choose to click the link about mindset, it's cool, all right? It's okay, because maybe you got it all handled. But if you want to, you can go to my bio and Instagram, or you can click below. If you want to be a part of the Least the Magic Within, we will be releasing the link. We've already got 15, 50 committed people that are already are engaged and ready to join this seminar with me in Houston, Texas. I can't wait to shake your hands. I can't wait to hug your bodies. And I can't wait for you, for me to introduce you and to unleash the magic that's within you. I love you so much. I appreciate you for everything that you've done, not just in your life, for watching my stuff, for trusting me. For trusting me. Not, I'm not your guru. I'm not your mentor. I'm, not, I'm your friend, okay? I'm your friend that just made it. And I want you to make it, not just in the money. Yes, it's important, but I want you to feel better about your life. I want you to be grateful about your life. I want you to experience more joy in your life and understand that's a practice. That's a mindset. That's how you think. Motivated, dedicated, let's go. Click the link, baby. Later.